Hey guys, we are in the basement. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different on John's Arcade. We are gonna take a road trip to PAX East in Boston. That's right, the 2013 PAX East. And we're going to visit the American Classic Arcade Museum exhibit, which is inside Fun Spot, which we've been talking a lot about lately. And you see, ACAM and Fun Spot, they bring a percentage of their games down to PAX East. They've done this every year, and they have an exhibit. They have a big room with 40 some odd games, and everyone that attends PAX gets to play these games, and it's absolutely awesome. It's actually really cool to see a lot of these younger guys, you know, in their 20s or, or teens, seeing arcades for the first time. It's actually kind of magical because. You know what, a lot of guys in their 20s and, and late teens, they never experienced the arcades, they never got to play the arcades. And this exhibit at PAX East is a great way for the younger guys to experience classic arcades. Now I have volunteered uh, actually uh, for every one of the PAX events, actually I, I couldn't make last year, but this year I again volunteered and I was in the room all day and I filmed quite a bit of it. And uh, so anyway, why don't we get in the car and let's take a ride to Boston and go to PAX East 2013. All right guys, we are uh, coming into Boston here. We're actually uh, kind of in the Cambridge area, which is where, you know, Harvard is and MIT and all that stuff. And actually uh, Fenway Park is coming up here, which is kind of cool. I guess if you're a Red Sox fan, which I've never really been. I mean, I'm from Chicago, so I don't really have any strong affection towards Boston. Um, and I've always kind of been a Yankee fan. So, but uh, yeah, Boston's a pretty neat city. Um, I really like Cambridge, actually, more than anything. Um, it's a very cool area. It's like a college area. It's kind of hip and cool. But, uh, but yeah, Fenway's coming up here. Uh, let me do this easy pass crap. Um, but the thing about Boston that sucks is the roads. Um, the roads are laid out like freaking spaghetti. I mean, if you ever happen to come to this city, and if you're used to like Chicago and New York, where everything's kind of like on a grid system, once you get off the highway, you're fucked. I mean, it is, it's freaking lunacy. And I've had some very, stressful drives in Boston. Like extremely stressful. Like I wanted to, I was like yelling because I was so lost. And the GPS just doesn't help you. It doesn't matter because it doesn't know where you are either. Because the roads are so close. <laughs> but anyway, um, here's the Charles River over here. Um, you always see like people uh, doing the uh, the kayak stuff, or they call it like, you know, like the, I don't know, whatever the, uh, the boat racing, the paddle boat racing where there's like 10 guys paddling away. Uh, but yeah, Fenway's coming up here in a second. Here it is. So yeah, here's Fenway Park. Uh, I think this is still the oldest ballpark in the country. Or is it Wrigley? I, I don't remember. I mean, I'm from Chicago. Wrigley Field to me is the ballpark. Um, and I come out here and everyone thinks this is the ballpark and I kind of disagree. I think Wrigley, Wrigley Field is the ballpark. It's the best ballpark in, in the US as far as baseball goes. But uh, but yeah, here it is. Pretty cool. I've actually never been to a game. I've, I've been outside of it. I've seen like the, uh, the Ted Williams statue um, outside of it, that's about it. But anyway, all right, let's keep going. We're almost there. Um, we're kind of approaching the downtown area, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, we're really close here, and uh, massive traffic. Um, hopefully I can find a parking spot. Actually, I've been to every PAX so far, and uh, Parking is just getting progressively worse every year. Um, 
And uh, this is this is the not fun part of coming down here. But uh, come on, you freaking Prius idiot, go, dude. Fucking tool. <laughs> All right. All right, well here we are. This is the convention center, and of course the frickin' parking lot is full. So I'm gonna have to go to some other parking lot and take a shuttle, yay. But yeah, here it is. This is the uh, Boston Convention Center, and uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, which sucks, because the first year they had uh, PAX East, it was awesome, because it was like in this awesome neighborhood. Um, it was across the street to like like 30 bars like when the show was over we stepped outside and it was just like party time and uh, this location not so great but uh, it's a much bigger place though so all right let's go to this other parking lot and uh, we'll be right back Classic Arcade Museum exhibit. And it's oh, it's not open yet. Damn. Okay. Hello. Housekeeping. Hey Gary. Hey John. How you doing? Good. And you? Good. Sorry I'm late. Hey, there's the man. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hey, I'm filming right now. Can I film right now? I'm not working. <laughs> What's that? I'm not working. Can I just hey, take a quick tour hey, just, uh, with yeah. commentary? Go for Somebody, it. Uh, uh, All right, so here we are. This is the uh, ACAM booth, the American Classic Arcade Museum. And uh, they're not open yet because someone broke Dragon's Lair. Is that true? Space Ace. Space Ace? Someone punched it? Yeah. Part of the all right, so we have Flash over here, which is a Williams game designed by Steve Ritchie. So, and by the way, this, they bring part of Fun Spot here. This is Fun Spot. A-Cam. A-Cam, sorry. A-Cam <laughs> is not Fun Spot. I know, but it's... It's, it's located within Fun Spot. That's right, it's located within Fun Spot. So this is the American Classic Arcade Museum, which is housed inside a building labeled Fun Spot. And they have brought some stuff down here. And how many trucks did this take? Two, Two trucks. Big ones? Hey, Scott. 24-foot box trucks. 24-foot trucks. A lot of work. So you guys can play these games. So this is Flash, uh, which is a Williams game by Steve Ritchie. Hey, what's this L's Garage Band? It's called Al's Garage Band that goes on World Tours. <laughs> no, this is actually Scott's game over here. Scott, you brought your L's? Yes, I did. How you doing, buddy? Uh, been better. <laughs> <laughs> Devastators, you guys are bringing the heavy hitters, huh? Well, that's another one of my uh, <laughs> Smash TV. Along with a jailbreak. <laughs> Great Williams game. This, this game kind of started, or actually is more like Robotron, but like two player, uh, more modern, kind of like grab, uh, Geometry Wars. Elevator action, great Taito classic. Stratovox, another Taito classic here, cool cabinet. Jail, oh, this isn't jailbreak, this is, is it jailbreak? Jailbreak. Oh. I guess I didn't recognize, I never played that, I guess. Nope. That's a bad. cool Konami, like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> That's a cool, like, Konami side-scroller. Sinistar, which is an awesome Williams classic. Williams Defender Stargate, which is the uh, sequel to Defender. Um, Centuries Phoenix. I don't like this game. I've always hated this game. <laughs> Mr. Do's Wild Ride, which is a sequel to Mr. Do. 
little Gremlin Sega Astro Blaster. Look, is this Cabaret or do they also have a full size one? What's that? They do have a full size one. Yeah. And here's Pong. Dan, are you winning? No. What's cool about Pong is there's actually a real television set in here. Oh, they're turning the lights off. There's actually a real television set in here. Galaga 88, which is an awesome sequel to Galaga. Missile Command, I have that in the basement. I have a video for that. Atari's Millipede. Black Widow, which is a great Atari Vector game. Major Havoc, we did a review of this a couple weeks ago. This is from Fun Spot, American Classic Arcade Museum. And they just turned the lights off and they're playing some loud music, so hopefully you guys can hear me still. This is Asteroids. They brought Star Castle, Buggy Challenge, Space Encounters, Space Invaders, Trivial Pursuit. Really? <laughs> and this is like in a uh, Valley Sente cabinet right here. Okay, so they opened the doors now, everyone's coming in. Here's a Sente Mini Golf, uh, Galaxian, Bosconian, Miss Pac-Man, Junior Pac, Atari Food Fight, which I love. And then the center area here, they have Gauntlet 2, which is a four-player game, Super Mario Brothers, Hyper Sports was the uh, sequel to Track and Field. Track and Field. Hubert. There's that Dark Adventure game. <laughs> Remember my video, I didn't know what that was. Well, now it's here. Here's uh, Zaxxon. So, Super Zaxxon. Uh, here's Space Ace, which I guess someone pounded or something. I don't know. Seems to be working, though. Space Ace is great. You like laser games. Pole Position 2, which I love. I love Pole Position. Turbo. And Dragon Flare, which is currently down. Here's Punch Out. And that's it. That's pretty much the exhibit here at uh, PAX East. But you know what? Dude, this was a lot of work to bring these games up here. So is Dragon Slayer down or what? Yeah. These laser. Does this have uh, Daphne in it, or is it original? It's Daphne. It's Daphne. You can see in there, though. It's got a subwoofer. So this is a laser disc game. It's running the uh, Daphne uh, hardware, which is nothing more than a PC. Uh, with an interface that connects to the uh, LED display up there. same deal with the Daphne setup but anyway guys that's it you know that's pretty much it but these guys bust their ass bringing this exhibit here and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it let's uh you know what let's get out of here I'll tell you what while we're here why don't we just take a quick tour through the rest of PAX <laughs>
hours and you can see the exhibit area is all closed but uh, you can kind of get a nice look of everything that's here. Glantronics, uh, Dungeon Defenders, NVIDIA, 2K, Turtle Beach, Nintendo's got a little booth over here, Square, Assassin's Creed, Sony's here, not really sure what they're showing. Um, and on this side there's some more stuff. Uh, Monster Hunter 3, Zombie 2 Tycoon, um, looks like a bunch of tabletop games maybe over here. Um, but yeah, this is definitely quite the show. Let's go over here and look. Uh, Dance Central 3 over there. I really, I wasn't able to really walk the floor today because I was in the arcade exhibit for pretty much the whole day. Um, I really wanted to go to Nintendo's booth because they were actually uh, selling Luigi's Mansion today, just a day early, but I would have grabbed it. I guess they set up like a little Nintendo uh, World Store within their exhibit. Um, what was kind of cool is that Blizzard was here showing uh, their new game, where is their booth, which uh, turned out to be just a, uh, a, a virtual card game. Kind of cool. I don't know. I'll play it. I think it's free to play um, iOS, PC. But uh, yeah, this is it. So why don't we uh, get on the bus here and go home. I'm definitely drained. I think Geek had a pretty cool little exhibit. I love Think Geek. Let's check this out. Utila kilts. Never got into that. What's up with the, the guys wearing the kilts? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get on a bus and uh, get back to my car and head back to John's Arcade. And by the way, it's, it's about 12 midnight here and there are tons of people still in this place. Um, people playing games everywhere, people with their DS's, trading me's. Um, there's a tabletop gaming area that's, that's still open till 3 a.m. And, uh, you know, people are playing board games, you know, tabletop games, Dungeons and Dragons type games. So, definitely cool. Hey, what's this? Stop! There goes the bus. I guess this is my bus here, so we will hurry. Barry Crimmins, comedian. Barry Crimmins, yeah. A great political comedian. Yeah. He, he told me just go out and throw the switch, just do what you were doing in the clubs. Just go out and do the do what you were doing. You so. called him or you talked to him before you talked? All right, guys, we are uh, we're driving home, and uh, that was a fun-filled day. Uh, you know, uh, I gotta say, uh, the American Classic Arcade Museum, you know, fun spot, whatever you want to call it. Um, they do a really good job, and Gary Vincent, uh, you know, he runs the whole show. And you know, these guys bust their ass, bringing a percentage, a portion of the arcade down to Boston, sticking it in a room so you guys can all play these games and enjoy it. And uh, I really hope uh, 
continue success. Those that did go to PAX enjoyed the games because uh, you, you got to know there's there's a lot of work that went into bringing those games down there. It's it's not an easy feat, you know. Two trucks I mean, to bring over 40 games um, from an arcade, and plus the games go through trauma. The stuff gets banged up and beat up and. Things get out of whack and out of place, and believe me, I, I wouldn't want to remove my games out of my basement for anything, you know. So, definitely pretty cool that they are able to do that every year. And, and PAX, PAX is a lot of fun, it really is. And but yeah, what a what a crazy long day. But uh, we're almost home. Well, not yet, but we got some driving to do here. But uh, so let's let's drive on and uh, head back. Like I said, to John's. By the way. I guess Boston looks pretty cool at night, right? Look at that. We got some buildings all lit up and stuff. Um, it's rather late though. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> so, but anyway, let's keep driving and head back to John's Arcade. There you have it, that was PAX East 2013 and the American Classic Arcade Museum Exhibit. Again, I want to thank Gary Vincent and Mike Stuhler for doing such a great job putting on that show. Those guys bust their butts. You have no idea what's involved getting those games from the Fun Spot Arcade in Wares Beach, New Hampshire down to Boston, Mass. It's a lot of work and, and it's a little risky. These games are delicate. Anyway. Good job, guys, Gary and Mike. Uh, hey, listen, you know what? I release new videos every Sunday and sometimes in between. If you want to keep up with the videos, you need to subscribe. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also, check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders. We, we do a live show every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on the All Games Radio Network, which is allgames.com. The podcast is called Video Game Outsiders. And the podcast website is videogameoutsiders.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you next time. Later.